okay guys welcome back today we'll be doing a really interesting question this is question is regarded as one of the most confusing pnc questions in the history of cambridge assessment international education so you'll shortly know why let's start with question number i so let's see <coughs> a small airplane has 14 seats for passengers the seats are arranged in four rows of three seats and a back row of two seats okay 12 passengers board the airplane how many possible seating arrangements are there for the 12 passengers so we have been asked to give it in three significant figures and actually it's pretty easy right so for this one we have 12 passengers and we have 14 seats so first and foremost we have to select 12 seats for 12 passengers and then as each of them are unique we can just arrange them by using 12 factorial by calculating 12 factorial so it's going to be 4c12 in the 12 factorial also known as also can be represented as 14 sorry 14c12 with the 12 factorial can also be represented as 14p12 that's going to have a value given it in 3sf it's going to be 4.36 into 10 to the power 10. <coughs> okay now let's move on to another question these dual passengers consist of two married couples mr and mrs lynn and mr and mrs brown five students and three business people okay gonna be four five nine two four. okay and three business people sit in the front row okay so it's gonna be business business and business okay five students each sit at a window seat that's gonna be one two three four five six seven it has seven choices okay and mr and mrs lynn sit in the same room on the same side of the aisle okay this is interesting so let's look at this so this is brown sitting in another room on the same side of the aisle and this is the same room on the same side of the aisle <laughs> okay so how many possible seating arrangements are there? So just for the business people, let's just start with the business people. That's just gonna be three factorial. That's just gonna be six. Okay. And then let's start for the students. Two. Five students sit each at the window seat. Okay. So that means for arranging five students in the window seats, we have for the students five factorial. That's just gonna be hundred and twenty, right? Okay. Now. For Mr. and Mrs. Brown and Mr. and Mrs. Lynn, for them. So the only possible choices for Mr. And Mrs. Brown and Mr. and Mrs. Lynn is these three seats, right? So these three seats in the left or uh, left side of the aisle are the only possible choices for the two married couples. So for let's start for Mr. and Mrs brown they have to choose one from the three and mr and mrs lynn have to choose one from the three so we can just do it for together for them and mr and mrs lynn that's just gonna be three c2 selecting two set of row seats from these three options and also arranging them arranging sorry i guess it's a bug Okay, so arranging them, arranging Mr. and Mrs. Brown, we have to multiply by two because they can either sit 
one can see that here and here another can also switch they can also switch it's right and same goes for mr and mrs lynn so in total they also have 24 different seating arrangements so now for each seating arrangement of business people there can be a different seating arrangement of students and same it goes for each seating arrangement of business people students and mr and mrs lynn and mr and mrs brown so all together we can just multiply them so that's going to be 6 into 120 into 24 to find the total number of possible ways so that's gonna be 6 into 120 into 24 that's gonna be 17,280 arrangements Got it. So some people might be asking like why aren't we selecting specific window seats for the student? Because we have already specified among these two rows are taking being taken by the couples. That's why what we that's what we did here. So that means the remaining there will be uh, at least one from here and all these from here. So they can choose either and see the right. So that's not going to be a problem. Okay, moving on. <coughs> okay, moving on with the last question. If instead the 12 passengers are seated randomly, find the probability that Mr. Lin sits directly behind a student and Mrs. Brown sits in the front row. Yeah, so now the question is getting interesting. This question was the one which is most confusing. One of the most confusing. So first of all, let me just copy the diagram okay so we will be working here so two of us seated randomly what is the probability right so probability is gonna be actually it's gonna be we all know the conventional formula actually the original formula total a number of Favorable cases divided by total number of possible cases. We already have the total number of possible cases, don't we? This is the total number of possible cases, right? Okay, so now. So now to find the total number of pay variable cases. So let's see the conditions. Mrs. Lin sits directly behind the student and Mrs. Brown sits in the front row. So these three options are open for Mrs. Brown, right? Okay, so now what are the options for Mrs. Brown? Mrs. Brown has three options, right? And what options does Mrs. Lin have? So Let's see, let's take a student and <coughs> so if Mrs. Brown sits here, what happens? Student can sit here or here or here or here and here, 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 here. As you can see, there are quite a number of cases so the most straightforward way or most clear way will be to approach them each at a time so first and foremost let's see we have five students and then three business for we just have five students that's the matter of one right so five students let's just keep that in mind <coughs> also we have three places where mrs brown can sit that is pretty much clear to you all right so mrs brown can either sit here brown one brown two or brown three but so let's take a case suppose mrs brown sits here okay and let's take mrs lynn and a student okay 
So number of possible arrangements. So for Mrs. Lin, to number of possible fields where Mrs. Lin can sit and a student can be in front of her. That uh, those are it's this, 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 not this, not even this, 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 not sorry, not this, <coughs> this and this, right? So those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are ten places, right? That means if Mrs. Lin sits here, a student can be here. So that means for a pair of Mrs. Lin and a student, there are ten places in each possible arrangement of Mrs. Brown. So if Mrs. Brown is here, it can be here or here or here or here and here, here and then here. And in here or here and or here, right? So those are ten places. That means Mrs. Lynn and student pair have ten. But which student is gonna sit in front of Mrs. Lynn? We don't know. We have to select it from five students. So that's gonna be five C one. Now here it comes. So for we need total number of favorable cases, right? So we already have defined our cases, which are three for Mrs. Brown multiplied by ten for Mrs. Lin and student multiplied by five to select the students. Now we have eleven remaining seats and nine remaining people. And to arrange them nine people into eleven seats, we have the we know it. What should we do? We can just note it as eleven p nine. So we can just multiply eleven p nine as well. And multiplying all these, we actually get a large number 11 p9 multiplied by 3 into 5 into 10. That's going to be 2.99 <coughs> into 10 to the power 9. And then if we divide 2.99 into 10 to the power 9 by 4.36 into 10 to the power 10, we actually get a number. 4.36 into 10 to the power 10 we have 0 0.068 0 0.0687 actually it's 0 0.06866 but we have to keep it in three significant figures so the probability is going to be 0 0.0687 actually there are various ways you can do it for individual cases as well there's another method as well taking pro large probabilities but this seems a pretty straightforward method straightforward method and it will actually help thinking this way because we can it can help provide simpler solutions to complex problems of permutation and combinations hopefully you all got this answer got the process if you haven't you can ask in the comments and thank you for watching